a city on the verge of greatness. Are you sure from the way beginning? Oh, yeah. Based not on the man, uh -huh. but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. That way, people who haven't played the game can get a feel for it. Where every man can own his own home. Never so, uh... Um, not be are overlooked we, are by we, his neighbors. Are we, are we recording right now? Yeah. That's what I'm sure. We are right the city where a man's I think you know what was really good about this game though. Because I mean, because me, get, me and uh, me and Anna like beat this game together, but man, it was freaking hell. The city of opportunists. It was like really, really tough. But the one thing I like about this city game though is like the facial reactions are really over the top. The well, they're they're not. It's not just that they're over the top. It's that they're not done well either. That's part of the problem. Well, there is there's there was a time when I'm not sure it was Rockstar. The company that made this game was like oh man, it was such a huge story, it's like it's hard to explain. Um the people that made this game pretty much overworked their creators the to the bone. Dreamers. And um <laughs> Uh, they they overworked their the creators too to bone to where they quit the mid curves. like cause this game was supposed right. to be released like it seems. Uh, this game when was this game released like two thousand and a twentieth century uh, it'll be linked in the video model for the world. so okay well yeah well it was supposed to be released I believe three years before it was actually released oh, but okay. the creators no yeah but the creators kept leaving because they were getting Don't frustrated because they were the overworking items. them and. They'll like finish one project, but then the boss will be like, no, do it over again, or well, this looks like crap, do it over again. And it's like, so In the because Corps, when they were doing the, the game was let out, they, made, the deal people that made the game realized, you know for, that like, half the people that made the game were like, where's the credit? Dealing with corruption the only credit is like chasing to shadows. The boss of you never know whether the guy you're talking to is yeah, I saw that or whether it's your partner, it had or like maybe two even watch in the very beginning. Some yeah, trust, so Cole. it cost a major I loss. I my mind a long time ago. And because of it, because we were, this game was supposed to get, was supposed to get like a sequel, Adam, but um, it Go never ahead, happened KGPL. because the production, the, 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 game, the, the game developer uh, company pretty much uh, went either in bankrupt or just closed down because of the losses. Roger, 14 Adam en route. So. R2 to accelerate. And I'm pushing R2, and nothing's happening. I think it's X. Oh, it's, it's press L. Uh... Well, it says R2, so I press R1. Oh, look, I move. R1 is use, use head. That's weird. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, uh, this game makes no sense. So, so R1 to accept. Here we go again. Yep. They don't request uniforms. Is there a way you can look at the controls? Maybe some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. Oops. In the beam of oh. sunshine himself. Okay, I figured out the siren. <laughs> it's the, just that's the best. this is so stupid. Driving in this game is the best. Like just it's because I'm not sure like if you can hear your partner when you're driving you hit shit they just go like the, the uh, partner just goes what are you doing sort of like a madman man yes sir phelps and dunn wilshire division we had a shooting took place down this alleyway we have the vic scooter peyton a negro male bagged up and on his way to central morgue witness says a tall white guy our shooter put two in the vic's head and then threw his piece i need you guys to try and recover the gat you want us to look anywhere in particular give it your best shot guys the dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. Here's the problem. They wouldn't have called it a gat. They would have called it a piece. This is a fist hump. Just going through well, the I mean, motions. Yeah. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up a to the gap, back wall. Refer to a gap if you still don't come up with anything, come find me, and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than you one. You know what's the best thing to do in this game? Picking up soda bottles and looking at it, and then your, your character going, mm, no, I don't think so. Look at this junk. Oh, it, it, it. Mm, I doubt it. No. Mm, 
I'm gonna pull one out for my homies. But let me put it exactly how I found it, just in case. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. You you haven't gone into like the like the best part of uh, we have to examine dead bodies. You're like literally like grabbing it by like the freaking head, turning it like, you very violently. And you're like the neck cracking and all that, like really bad. Oh look, we get to read the whole article too. Doctor Fontaine, could I have a word? Of Why course, is it a video? Man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. It, Psychiatry uh, seems to have a tremendous hey, amount. Of it's a backstory well, to the main I'm story that you're going to be to doing, like in from our work, towards the end. The mind is the last great mystery. It gives you mix. context of when it I'm happens. Thinking of specializing, mm. Mr. Sheldon, or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast track like, me. Like, I'm going to see, like, the, like, the schematics for this game is bad. But the story, oh, though, oh, it's about. like one of the best stories I ever played. Like, Battle when I was, like, finished, when I finished this game, both me and Anna were just Can going, like, wow, what, I would what say do yes, you do now? Given the right set of Because, like, the game kind of, like, drags in the beginning. But once you get really into it, like, towards the end, it, it to kills, like, to from zero to a Through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Gnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands. Is that okay? Let's go. Let's go I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You went through a lot together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon, and your penance. Do you have like the game um, audio mute? With what little spare time a medical student has, is that a deal? Is it ever? I I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. That weird facial expression right there at the end. He's like. I can't believe he bought that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> or at least I that's what you, it looked jinx. like. I always get landed with this crap. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Look, more yeah, garbage. Th We're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. Then why are we over here? Can I run? No running it. Oh, actually, oh, yes. So what next? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. Maybe it's Should under that blood stain. the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. <laughs> Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm going to see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. And if I do, you can so help dark. to the hospital. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to I find a way how up. how dark it gets when you do black and white in the first mission. Because, damn. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. It sounds like it was recorded in a conference room. We should follow up on this now the before the first try. Yeah, count. the audio is all over the place. It doesn't like. It's really weird how they uh, how they record because I think they did recording when they were doing the face or 
the uh, facial. Uh, we have the gun, Cole. Um, Let's take it back to Fred so we can get a commendation. Like that line. Could Didn't show some see. initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. Like there's no. There's a place a couple of blocks the from here. The acoustics are wrong for an alley. Obviously, but it also sounds like they didn't even try to silence anything for whatever room artifacts that there were. Yeah, I mean, if you look, I mean, pretty much, you, you sure have to remember, this? too, it's some people really left gig. halfway through this production. No so harm in doing some digging. Probably people that were Zoop supposed to seem do to give this much out and laughed and were like, oh, just leave it the way it is. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. That foot will fit just right up your ass. It'll be all right. Have your, have your partner drive. Shotgun. Jeez. So you have to drive. Okay. Oh, wrong button again because you know they lied about the controls. Be careful. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow down. No. Cop. Four on the floor. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's not a horn. <laughs> These cars handle like crap. Driving horrible. Yeah, my dad worked for a body shop, and I actually got the chance to drive these. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was this car, but it handled just like this. It was like driving a boat. I think it's the body shape of it. It's like very large. Well, not only that, but they didn't really have shocks. It was mostly oh, springs, yeah. Yeah. and you had to kind of balance how the car reacted. Not springs. For Mystery Science Theater episode, where uh, it's a story about people, uh, someone saying, Oh, I wish there were no springs in the whole world. And a cartoon spring comes out, Hey, I'm going to make your dreams come true. And then his car went to work because it's made of springs. Yep. And everything he needed, he needed, it did it work because it made of springs? Officers Phelps and Dunn. Gold handled doors. Can you tell us anything I can't about see this anything. Gun. Smith and Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. He looks familiar. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're yeah, not suggesting guys, he's uh, the uh, owner. No, I'm not. Split, uh, you seem to know a lot about the like, weapon. I ought to. I sold it. Before, but you know, this piece will like stop a rhino. Up. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Mm. Mm. We're in luck, okay. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Well, I guess the Charlie Brown kid... Uh, Thanks, you've been a big help. Apparently. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Right, was that the kid's name? Schroeder? Um, Schroeder was the kid who hung out Do with we Charlie call it Brown. In? Yeah. Let's see if he's at home. That's the guy that Only the gun the doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Uh, okay. Let's see what always got to make him fuck. In for a yeah, penny, in for a pound. Street. Lead the way, gun good <laughs> Lead the way, Gunga Din. Okay. You gotta the car. I got a video <laughs> glitch, and it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna continue driving. Awesome. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't we're use good. our we're initiative. I guess so. Uh, let's see. Seems yep, a little too across. good to be true. <laughs> One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, 
He's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. Out of ten statistics really are made up on the spot. Jerk. Let's see. Okay. I guess I gotta. Yeah, you're on the highway. Yeah. And it's not like we can do GPS, because this was obviously way before GPS. You think this place is uh, is Grand Theft Auto? It that's basically what it is. Kind of. And it's made by the same people. So they're like, you know what? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're just gonna take the engine from Grand Theft Auto. We're gonna slap some facial expressions on it, and uh, we're gonna call it a day. Yeah, pretty much. All right. You go in that store. Uh, it said gold handles, but not that we can tell. So let's try it. I could use a new top hat. Nope. <laughs> I guess. The <laughs> doo -doo -doo. Advice. You want to pay this Schroeder character a visit, don't you? Let's roll. I didn't ask you. Schroeder, Harbin 2. Whoa, it's super dark for those stairs. Right? Harbin 2. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. We're here to give you a beating. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. Yet. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. Not Scooter. Get out of your mind. Scooter? He works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Yep, it's uh, right here. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, You're under no. arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Here comes the best fighting scene ever. Oh, you ready? Oh, God. Bro. Hey. Uh -oh. Forget that blocking crap. It's like it's like rock That's and good defense is an offense. <laughs> it's like rock and suck and robots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. You literally put him through the damn table like that. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look the around. The partner's like, oh god. <laughs> Why is space all black and blue? Oh, don't worry about that. It'll wash off. He fell. He fell. He fell through a table. I'm not sure how. List of names in a series of numbers. <laughs> Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. That wasn't where he found it. Officer Phelps. What was the thing with question. Floyd Rose? Who's, who is that? Um, I think that was... Scooter. Oh. Everything's 
thought they were looking at a boat. Like, oh, it was a ship of dreams. And it was. It really was. Sons forward, of bitches, forward, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us I are love here. the reaction. I know why you're here, ass oh, Excuse me, can you excuse me? I'm having a bad Fuck day, you. Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges you and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. I don't, I don't remember that scene from Forrest Gump because I don't remember the scene. No, you probably well, you take the right it. place, Cole. Probably. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. Real. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. The whole thing. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna handle this car too, don't worry about that. <laughs> that car's gonna back up it to you apparently. Do you have like your sirens on or no? Yeah, they're on. Uh, no wonder if the cars are like driving over here. So I cut through here last time, but I tried to go in the back. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. So I won't. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Two. Take it slow. No, no, no. That's you gotta go. Sure. You're not going to. Oh, LAPD, boy. put down your weapons. Oh, well. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you not a, a chance to. Chance, copper. <laughs> Shit. Do it again. Huh? Stay down. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. I'm glad to screen the screen for a better partner. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like about this game is like your partner doesn't do anything. He just goes, ah, you know. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. Once in a lifetime. I have to grasp Oh, wait, I can't do that. I'll you have, have to, to survive that. at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love the Royalty shoot Royalty-free. 
go. If I can make a name for myself in this yeah, war. Yeah, if only that did. My future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. I just realized how, how talk like, about officers the like elbows are really pull. disproportioned from, like, they call it the how they syndrome. should be. Guys who go around like dreaming of fame and glory like and getting all the of their men so killed the in the process. Like it's like Our duty up. is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. <laughs> Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for me. For me, for me Get after him, Phelps. Place. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourself. Uh, this Why stupid crap. The controls are mislabeled. Again. Bowers, hold it right there. Stop now, or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn, watch your fire. Don't want to do this. Are you kidding Wendell. me? This game sucks. Wait, 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 what? The <laughs> Come on, back up. There. I'm no, no. Scared. Come on. You're scared. Don't be scared, just keep going, keep going. I guess I just got to hold up, rather than to go around. Yeah. That is so yeah. stupid. Give it up, Wendell! See, he was, he was, he was waiting for you. He's like, I'm gonna, I better, I better slow down before he can There's do no way I'm going back up. inside! Wait, where's that voice coming from? Oh, up the ladder. Or, rope. Ladder. Pipe. Damn I've it. I've done my time! Spider Man. Oh, like Spider Um, where am I running to? Hold on. Oh, down here. And then up here. Nope. I guess I gotta go this way. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Thanks, Rockstar. Hey, no problem. Make sure Wait that you no were there. Stop! GTA LAPD! 5 for like you the 18th yourself. year in a row because you can't bring out GTA 6 is close enough. So. He's hiding in the alley! Is this, is this at night time? Huh? Is this at night time? Yeah. Oh, Bowers, normally when I, do, right when I did this level, like, it was always Stop daytime. now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn, watch your fire. You don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, that's new. You gotta be kidding! You fucking asked for it. So did your wife. There's no way I'm hey going back inside. <laughs> you just, you just sounded like, um, sounded like it's uh, over, Bowers. Ed McMahon. You assholes already <laughs> screwed me once. <laughs> oh, look, the screen froze. <laughs> Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Where he is supposed to go. And faceplant. Ah! <laughs> Looks like we've got the face to ourselves. <laughs> Bitch. Did you yeah. just do a Muhammad Ali trick? Like... I don't know, where's the button? <laughs> to... Alright, there it is. Touch him! Keep going, touch him! Beat him up! 
He's like, oh man, come on, he's bald. <laughs> How you doing, Wendell? The way you hit his oh, head, it was like a of He's got a hole in his life for an asshole <laughs> like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. Yeah, yeah, so this hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow job. night. <laughs> nice work, Cole. You it's like playing Dead by Daylight, and it's like I'm your partner, and you're like doing all the work. I'm like, yeah, man, it's a great job, man. Great <laughs> job, good, yes, good, good, good job. <laughs> Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These Especially ratings that guy, and your right ability there. to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10, Today, Franklin, 8, uh, Weiss, book reports 8, on treasure Donahoe, Island. 6, Kowalski, 6, I like Hudson, the part where 5, they find Kelso, the treasure. 2, I hope you guys enjoy Leadership, my book report Donahoe, on treasure 8, Island. Franklin, 7, Merrill, 6, Kowalski, 6, Weiss, 5, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 1. Canada Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not to get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! I like how his face was distorting when he told him to get in his office. That was pretty great. Like, he was so angry, his face stretched. Can you, can you hear me? Uh, fine. For every cop, yeah. there's the case okay. that makes you. I'm gonna... Gives you that leg up. Start, uh, gets you recognized as a shiny new star on the squad. Okay. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average like, rank uh, of the oh. This could be the Did one. Did you get to the like uh, to the interrogation? I got to the interrogation, but I couldn't get it to do the thing. So LAPD, could you, I mean, stand you don't know the what the guy is in there. Has Wait. anyone called an ambulance? Oh boy, we've called uh, an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid yourself. he's it's dead. It's gonna be pretty. Yeah. Okay, stand oh, from the back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Let me just move this body. I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Hmm. All this blood on the ground. Gross. <laughs> Somebody mop that up so we could get a chalk outline. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. It's a hand, all right. <laughs> no, check his head. Check his head. Check his head. Look at it. You gotta, you gotta move his head. <laughs> oh. Those are some weird-looking ear holes. All right, yes, it's a dead person. Shiny object. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Hmm. They taste like 32s, too. Place for a gun. Ooh. FN Browning, serial number zero one one three eight. 
Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Thank you, random stranger. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. This guy. Hey, this guy. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Don't you people have anything better to do? And throw my head away. No oh, good. She's going to throw her head away. That's Speak neat. to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, don't accuse part. her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. Okay, and if okay, you're sure she's think. straight up, you, try the general do you, approach. Do you, do you trust See what you can coax out of her. I don't trust anybody. Okay, anyway. Let me let me tell you what to press that way because you get like a really good uh, response. Uh, can, I, can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Clovis Cookie. Wait, wait, wait. Before... By the way, you can't, you can't do it on this one. On the, on the VR headset, you can actually draw a top of... You think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? Person's, uh, I look around the phone. shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I was going to tell you what the press is. It says press triangle to a yeah, just... triangle. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Here, let me show you. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Hmm. Yeah, I think she's lying, though. Nah. I think she... I think she's lying. But... I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept 
pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. They want me to be a bad cop, I guess. Do they tell you to be a bad cop? angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Me. Tell me why Mr. Mr. Kalu shot head. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... My, never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. How do I pull up my gun? <laughs> what, I want a pistol whipper. Get a real statement out of her. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Let's run. Tate, maintain the perimeter. Dang it. Good thing you drive again. Actually, yeah, let's go to the gun store first. Yeah, they made me drive. And of course they have the uh, control set up wrong. Oh. <laughs> they can't drive in Grand Theft Auto either because the controls suck. I turned off the siren because it's getting annoying, but I'm still gonna drive like a fan. <laughs> careful! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be careful. Jewelry store. Have you got a death wish? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Is this it? That's the gun uh, store, okay. Think... There we go. Why are you going to the gun store? Evidence. Officer, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it had never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Okay, more evidence. Perfect. What did he tell you? They confirmed the gun. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, this one. And then that one. So we get, just got to cut back across town as quickly as possible. It's okay, the what city will pay for that. What are you doing to this car? <laughs> Actually, like they do. Huh? 
they do like at the end of your mission to oh, show how much the city has to pay for your for your damages. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. There was, there was one time. There's one time I want to see how much damage you can do. Because there's a, I think there's a trophy to get like to get like the highest amount of damage. Mm -hmm. And I got like close to like oh, a sir. close to like a million. Can you just a new watch. Oh. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Bullshit. Let's go. Son of He's a bitch! Bathroom. Go, Cole, go! Bathroom. What are you doing? He, he, gets, he gets, he gets, he has to go. Kalu! Get back here! Thank you for opening that door for me. Two club sandwiches. Thank you, waitress. Yes, I'm going to randomly call people waitress. Job title, not hey. by their name. Would you recommend a special? Too late, Kalu! You don't have to punch him. Sure I did. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Here in the 40s, we specialize in, we specialize in police brutality. Yeah, apparently the like the punch is happening. Yeah, you put the police to do it, man. You saw that? The one you never you saw. Him right. <laughs> the one that keeps you awake at night. You give him a great right cross. The case cross. that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. You, you, the uh, case that you really keeps you propping up for bombs. Yeah, you relive the what ifs, the might have been, you know, the half leads, and the half truths. Yep, I'm gonna the go The case that other more. cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. Ooh, I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Hand me the sword. Let's you're go. asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? Nothing. I am the real sword, fella. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. Takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, it's the a best conviction. thing about the like when you do your if first you fail in the form, you can always if, use if a you fail at it, violence to obtain You come out and then the cop goes, "Do you think you get a conviction?" That? And you go, "Fine, sir." Uh, well, you see, you Very know, good. get back in there. The evidence is overwhelming. <laughs> May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. I think you just, you should just this fail like the first time. Don't fail me. that reaction when, he, when you go out. <laughs> Pretty funny. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Follow my lead, okay? You gotta follow my lead. Hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the shooting. No, no, that's that's uh, that's uh, that's evidence. We gotta, yeah, so put that. Yeah. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. No, up his face. Oh, yeah, so much gas. Hey, so cute? And cute. Excuse, yeah. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. And then hit circle and watch and watch what happens. Looks like I made a mistake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. I Sorry. Should I just uh, 
accuse him again? <laughs> you can do that as many times as you want. Like, you're going to get there. Like, you just go, accuse. Oh, sorry. Accuse. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you got nothing, boy chick. You're going to be laughed right out of court. Oh, well, I I've guess just got to keep I'm... my mouth shut and watch you run around in That's circles. It? We're done. <laughs> Unless you want to keep making a schmuck oh, of yourself. Wait. That's it. Oh, well, I guess oh, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get you the connection? You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! <laughs> I need a confession! <laughs> like, he goes zero to a hundred real quick. That's what's so funny. Yeah, it, it was oh, like, go. you're supposed to you accuse and then Cole evidence. Phelps. Well, what happened in there? Get you back okay? in there and some lumps, boy! I need a confession! <laughs> get back in there! Get ready, get ready, here it comes. Hey, man. Get back in there, boy! You disappoint me, Cole Did you take care of the guy? Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! Yeah. I need a confession! The best part. Hey, buddy. How's you disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lungs, boy! I need a confession! Back in here. You are, Yoda. I want to be too. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lungs, boy! I need a confession! All right, round five. Here we go. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. You know, a lawyer can't I help you, Mr. Kolo. You shot a man dead in cold blood. Out. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. What is he <laughs> the facial expression. Oh. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're um, you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, what, Edgar. What you that you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. Leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're um, one of them. Nick, Gage hated Jews, why I didn't he, Mr. Like Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry? I can't hear the game audio. Oh, um. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me I'm that? I'm gonna have to You sit there share. and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher? You and that stump gauge! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? I, I didn't Gage. know what that was. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Which one was the right Edgar one for, Kalu. The, for the second one? I'm uh, charging top. you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. Oh, the, I respect your no. beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna see like the best uh, happy face ever coming up right now. Masterfully oh, done, oh, Officer yeah. Fox. It is just you get Officer back in Fox. there, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes, a shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them.
Yeah, that was a weird uh, smile there. Yeah. Oh, I guess you passed your conditions first. 